our group has chose brain cancer. What other diseases did you group consider? Oh, uh, we considered probably like, but we couldn't. So we said brain cancer, but then the other one that we had found was hair loss. But then we thought of brain cancer, so we just did brain cancer. Well, the research that we have. Hang, hang on, were there any others you considered? Yes. Okay, somebody else. We considered breast cancer, but um, we asked our group and she said that's not um, an appropriate answer. It would be harder to do. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Anything else? Anybody else want to add on to this question? Anything you thought was interesting or you considered? No? Nope. Okay. That's good. The research our group has um, conducted so far is the symptoms of the disease and where it's located. Brain cancer has symptoms of um, motor loss of motor skills, vomiting, and way more diseases. What have you guys conducted so far? Nausea. Nausea was like the symptom of brain cancer. Brain cancer is like something that is like in your head, you know, something like, like, like he said, nausea and stuff like that. Yeah, we were the side effect of brain cancer and how you were, how you would feel in regards to cancer. Symptoms. Okay. We, uh, we don't really know about brain cancer, but we know how you can get brain cancer. And I've also found out that brain cancer can cause tumors in the brain, which can be predicted with some therapeutic, therapeutic um, surgeries on the brain. And resources that we found out on, but resources that we included on our board was websites, video, and a um, place called Kinfart, which um, or the CDC, the Center of Control Diseases Center, which we found out that brain cancer is on there. It's a hardly researched topic. Did you guys call them across any interesting websites? Yeah, like we had looked up like some of the websites that we looked up, like they told us what, what brain cancer was, and then when we looked at it, and we kept scrolling down and it said, um, like, like what he said, it has a tumor, like it's like a tumor in your brain and stuff like that. Did y'all find any other websites? Kids Health. Kids Health. Kids Health. Is that one really useful? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have you guys ran across any problems mm -hmm. on the research for brain cancer? Not one really. problem that I found was that there ain't that many websites on it since the brain cancers only affect like 1% of the um, United States population, which is 24,800 people. Y'all want to add to that? Mm -mm. Is it hard to research something that doesn't have a lot yes, of research it is, on it? Yes, because um, brain cancer has a 50, not 54, 84 mortality rate, which means rate about one out of, t wait, nine out of 10 people die of it. One person usually survives, I think. Mm. And um, the most common is for men to have it, but it's very rare. And the, the effects of brain cancer, like it affects the frontal lobe, which um, controls your nightmares, dreaming, and I think thoughts. And it affects your left lobe, I mean your right lobe, which controls your um, motor skills, which is walking, some of your um, other skills like um I think it's like like um do y'all remember anybody want to add to that and plus the government doesn't like you like actually go into it they're more um, worried about the more common cancers like breast cancer um prostate cancer and more mm -hmm. stuff different kinds of cancers yeah, they different kinds of cancer in do we I think we like cancer is like this kind of it's the over replication of cells yeah over replication of cells mm -hmm. okay are those all the questions yes ma'am
And it was, do you, you know, other than just the research, as a group, have y'all run into any problems? Someone else other than Chase add in here. As a group, have y'all run into any other problems? Uh, have, like, have we ran into any problems? Was it easy making the decision to choose brain cancer? Like, we kind of, like, this one we kind of did. When we said, when we, when we looked at hair loss, we kind of decided on that. Then, then someone else came with brain cancer. Then we looked at brain cancer. Then we said, then we just decided to, like, vote on it. So, we uh -huh. voted on it. And then, he had got brain cancer, so he says hair loss. Mm -hmm. And then, some of the, um, some of the, um, so we was like, the brain cancer is like some, like some other stuff, like we could just research like that. Mm -hmm. So like it was kind of not that hard. Like hair loss, we it was just it was kind of easy to find stuff about hair loss. Mm -hmm. We just decided brain cancer. So brain cancer had like way less um, pages on it since people rarely do research on it. So it's, yeah. it's like very few people get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't that many people get it? Like in the United States, like half of the population mm -hmm. get it. Okay. Is that what you what? We voted three times. You voted three times to make that decision? Yeah, we did breast cancer, brain cancer, and um, hair loss. And you voted three different times. But we couldn't do breast So it was kind of, yeah. So something kept you from doing the breast cancer, but there are a lot of reasons for hair loss. So I think you would have had, you know, trouble maybe, or there would have been too much on that one. Yeah. Okay, what are your next steps? Someone who hasn't really talked too much, what do you, what do you need to do now? What are your thoughts about your research and your project, your presentation? Asia, Kyle, Michael? Or what's something else you want to know about? Like, more facts. Need more facts, okay. Like how, like I have one question, like about hair loss. See, but we didn't do hair loss, so I wasn't. But hair loss comes along with brain cancer. Why? Because because of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you could talk about but that like, as a side effect. Like, do you just start losing your hair? Mm -hmm. you yeah. like because of the chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Chemotherapy is cause problem. your hair to fall out. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. what about that? Have you looked at treatments for brain cancer, guys? Um, ways that they treat it. There are really ain't that many ways they treat it since it's so rare. They yeah. said that they do they really a very small. Chemotherapy. So, do y'all know everything about chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is um they inject like a radio right. Like but does everybody so know a lot about chemotherapy? So yeah. is that something you could look up? But chemotherapy. Okay. Okay. Is something like like it isn't like when they like shave your hair. And stuff. Mm -hmm. Your hair will fall out because of chemotherapy. So, yeah. do y'all all agree that you could look up maybe the treatments more and everybody could get a better understanding of chemotherapy and the treatment? Okay, good job.